the 204 Oromo children of Ethiopia who were rescued from Arab slavers in 1888 and ended up in South Africa in September 1888. Some 204 boys and girls captured to be sold into slavery in Arabia from their homes in the highland area of the Oromia region of Ethiopia got somewhat lucky when they rather found themselves in South Africa receiving an education. The Oromo slaves, as they were called, were aboard three dows from Raheda and Tajura on the Ethiopia coast when the HMS Osprey, serving in the Royal Navy's anti-slave trade mission in the Red Sea, based in Aden, intercepted them. The children who spoke the Oromo language were bound for resale in Arabian markets. Other dows with young human cargo were also apprehended. From their communities where they were apprehended, they had trekked as many as several hundred kilometers to the coast. The children were taken to Aden and, for a time, were housed and cared for at the Free Church of Scotland Mission at Sheikh Othman. On arrival, these boys and girls were often too debilitated to withstand the harsh climate and prevalent malaria. In 1890, 64 of the survivors were transferred to the Free Church of Scotland's Lovedale Institution, in Alice, a town in South Africa's Eastern Cape. The story is captured in a new book laden with graphs, maps, charts and statistics story written by Sandra Rowolt Shell in Children of Hope, The Odyssey of the Oromo Slaves from Ethiopia to South Africa. In Children of Hope, Sandra Rowolt Shell traces the lives of 64 Oromo children who were enslaved in Ethiopia in the late 19th century, liberated by the British Navy, and ultimately sent to Lovedale Institution, a free church of Scotland mission in the Eastern Cape, South Africa, for their safety because Scottish missionaries in Yemen interviewed each of the Oromo children shortly after their liberation. We have 64 structured life histories told by the children themselves. In the historiography of slavery and the slave trade, first passage narratives are rare, groups of such narratives even more so. In this analytical group biography, Shell renders the experiences of the captives in detail and context that are all the more affecting for their dispassionate presentation, comparing the children by gender, age, place of origin, method of capture, identity, and other characteristics, Shell enables new insights unlike anything in the existing literature for this region and period. Children of Hope is supplemented by graphs, maps, and illustrations that carefully detail the demographic and geographic layers of the children's origins and lives after capture. In this way, Shell honors the individual stories of each child while also placing them into invaluable and multifaceted contexts.